So you may have noticed within the Azure console that under a lot of resources, there's an option for locks. So if we look at one of our virtual machines here and scroll down a little bit in the options, there's locks. And the virtual machine here has no locks at the moment. And we can create them in the console, but for this demo, we're going to try and create them with PowerShell. So the first thing we need to do is connect to our Azure account using the Connect Azure RM account. I've already done that in this case, but uh, in order to create these new locks, we need to use the new Azure RM resource lock command. However, if we look at the options and parameters that we need to put in here, there's an awful lot that needs to be created. So stuff like resource name, resource type, resource group, etc. So in this example, I'm going to use splatting to provide all of those details. So here in the splat table, we've got the lock name and the lock level, the resource group name and the resource name. So it's test VM3 that we're going to apply this to in this case. And if we provide that splat table for the new Azure RM resource lock commandlet and run all of that, and then go over to the console, and refresh our locks against this virtual machine, we'll see that we've now got a delete lock for that machine. However, we can do that also in PowerShell by using the get Azure RM resource lock commandlet. And if we filter that down just to the, the bits that we need, and we run that, we've just got the one lock available there. So if we want to remove that lock, we can use the remove Azure RM resource lock command that with the force switch against it so it doesn't prompt us each time. I'm going to use the get Azure RM resource lock command that which we previously used and feed that into out grid view to give us a nice selectable list that we can delete the locks with. So in our list here, we've only got one lock at the moment. So I'm going to select that and click OK. And it comes back to say true to say it's deleted that lock. So if we run line 16 again and hit F8, We'll notice that it comes back with nothing because there's no locks there anymore. So the other thing we can do here is instead of locking one object, we can remove that object and just lock the resource group that this object is within. So if I run that command with the splat table again and go over to the Azure console and do a refresh, we'll notice that the parent resource is locked now and the lock that we've got against it is grayed out there. So if we go and find the resource group for this object and go to locks, in the options again, we'll see that we've now got a delete lock against this resource group. So I'm going to remove that lock and go back to our PowerShell. And the next thing we can try is to do a read only lock. So if we change the option here to read only and change the name and apply this bit of code and go back to the console, click on refresh, and we've got our read only lock applied there. So if we go over to our virtual machine, and try and resize it, we get an error because this machine has been read-only locked by the whole resource group. Thanks for watching.